But President Trump is challenging Democrats to put their money where their mouth is and accept illegal immigrants in sanctuary cities. But the same Democrats who pushed those policies are slamming the idea. It's illegal. It's immoral. It's unethical. Um, it's sophomoric. Uh, it's petulant. And it's uh, par for the course. So, why do Democrats refuse to stand by their own policies? Here to debate it is former consultant for the Department of Homeland Security, Mustafa Tamiz, and Republican strategist, Kimberly Klasik. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We certainly appreciate it. Good morning. So, Mustafa, Good morning. I'll, I'll start with you. So, what's the deal? I mean, sanctuary cities, sanctuary counties and states, they're supposed to be a sanctuary for illegal immigrants, so why don't you want them there? Well, I think the problems with the Department of Homeland Security, a number of them uh, officials have uh, resigned. Uh, some of them have been fired by President Trump because they don't want to break the law. And the president's even uh, offered that he would pardon them if, if somehow they were prosecuted. Just think about that. The president of the United States offering pardons if someone got prosecuted uh, for breaking the law, working for the Department of Homeland Security. You cannot take people that have asked for asylum, that go for asylum hearing, and then bus them to a different part of the United States. So when they have the hearing, they would not be able to make that hearing. Just think, the, the president of the United States asking people to break the law, and when they don't, either they resign or he fires them at the Department of Homeland Security, and that's exactly what's happened. It's interesting that you're making that argument because a lot of these people are breaking the law to begin with, but Democrats don't seem to have a problem with that. Kimberly? Yes, exactly. Asyl asylum is a, is, a, is a international and United States law. People are, they're not illegal. They're asking for asylum, which is a legal process. Kimberly? <laughs> so just when we thought we could understand the liberal logic, it's now even harder to understand because they're upset because President Trump's administration proposed the idea of redirecting these caravans to sanctuary cities where they'll be safe and they'll have lots of freebies by pack taxpayer dollars. And this just further proves the point that no matter what Trump does, it's not going to receive bipartisan support. Nancy Pelosi, of all people, made a comment saying the children of immigrants are being put in this warped game uh, to perpetuate fear and demonize immigrants when it was her not too long ago that was playing checkers with DACA recipients as a government shutdown approached. Please understand the people that treat children of immigrants the worst are their parents themselves. Mm -hmm. From those that are being created not out of love, but in the sole purpose of being anchor babies to those that are being forced to make the trek from cities like Guatemala without adequate food or water. And those are the parents that are doing this to these children. And, and illegal migration is a crime. Imagine your mom taking you on a bank heist with her. It's a crime. Well, let me ask Mustafa about that, because you did bring up the asylum, those who are seeking asylum here. And part of the problem is some of the definitions are, are changing, and people are trying to seek asylum um, not solely because they fear for their life. That's why they're supposed to seek asylum, not for economic purposes. Uh, but I want to talk about what Lindsey Graham said, that we need to change some of these loopholes that involve children and bringing children here. And people think if they do that, then they can stay. Mustafa? Yeah, well, look, I mean, uh, asylum seekers are people who are uh, fleeing violence in their country. Uh, and and the, uh, the, uh, the process is that they get, a, they get a hearing and they get to plead their case. And either we send them back after that hearing or they get to stay if, if they have a valid claim. If you then just take people in and ship them to a different part of the country, where they can't come back to their hearing, then they become illegal. So the President Trump is actually trying to create more illegal people in our country than not. And, and as far as, you know, people bringing their kids in, imagine you put yourself in the shoes of a mother uh, that is fleeing violence enough to be able to cross the border, try to do this. And mm -hmm. the more we shut down legal ports of entry, which is what the President Trump has done, the more illegal immigration we have. The President is looking at this as a political issue, not a humanitarian issue. Putting kids in, in, in cages is not American values. Which we are a nation of immigrants was built for. It, look, we, he keeps saying that, but that's just not true. That is true. You have to start looking he, at facts, not alternative facts that the president pushes well, out. Well, but that is true, because we did speak with the border chief under the Obama administration, and he said himself that that did happen, that these issues um, were prevalent during the Obama administration as well. Kimberly, you get the, the last issues word. Were. 
The issues yeah. were, but but not putting kids in cages. No, like the, nobody sorry, remembers exactly. kids in cages in the Obama administration. There, there are pictures of that happening. Kimberly, you get the final word. Yes. Absolutely, there are pictures in 2014 where that happened. Look, if these officials in sanctuary cities don't want these caravans redirected to their way, then perhaps they don't actually want these individuals in their town. Just like any other Democratic talking point, it's great until it actually happens. All right, Kimberly Mustafa, thank you both for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. We thank will you. see what happens. Thank you. All right. Yeah.